Hello, my name is Mitch. I'm here to tell you about an experience I had a few months ago. I have no idea if it was paranormal or whatever stupid words people used to describe supernatural phenomena. But after this experience, I started to believe in it. Well, those are my last things. I'm glad you didn't leave me in this, Edwin. Your family, Mitch. Of course I'd be here for you, man. Let's just move those boxes inside already. It's getting cold. Thanks. You started smoking, huh? You want one? No thanks, I don't smoke. Why don't you get some rest? You had quite a long ride to get here. That's not a bad idea. I'm pretty tired. All right. Good night then. Night. Good morning. Hey man, did you sleep well? Yeah, not bad at all. I only heard some strange rustling outside, but I guess it was just a raccoon or something. Yeah, I agree. That's most likely it. Would you mind raking the leaves outside the house? I will make breakfast in the meantime. Sure thing. The rake is somewhere around the entrance. Just in time, I cooked some eggs.
what's going on? What the hell happened to you? Take a look in the mirror. What are you talking about? It seems like you've been sleepwalking, Mitch. I have no other explanation for that. That's strange. Indeed, but there is something more disturbing than that gash. You somehow lost your kidney last night. W what? Unfortunately, we don't know how that happened. I'm sorry, Mitch. Things I'm sleepwalking. That's bullshit. How could this be the case? I don't know. It's all fucked up. Anyway, take this key. It belongs to your room. Sure. And bitch, if there's anything bothering you, you can always tell me about it. I know. Thanks, Edwin. some good and bad news. The good news is that you only had minor injuries and your parents are going to pick you up. However, the bad news is that your brother, Edwin, was found dead. I'm terribly sorry for your loss.
Are you okay, son? Yeah, I'm okay, Dad. <laughs>